afternoon, family. Uh, it's been a busy weekend at Grammy Nene's house. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of cooking at home. I did make some cheeseburgers and some french fries tonight. We've been out and about all weekend and just having adventures and doing some wonderful things. Uh, it's flea, it's a uh, yard sale time and it's so beautiful. So I did yard selling yesterday with my husband. A town that's close by us had a citywide yard sale and we did some treasure hunting and did, picked up a few things, mainly for things for my kids and my grandkids, but I did find a few things for myself. I'm trying not to bring too much more stuff in the house. You know how that is. But I have an announcement. Grammy has an announcement. I have an announcement. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited for me because something wonderful happened this weekend. Oh, and I'm so happy. And I'm sorry. I'm so giddy about it. We went to Tractor Supply and we have just been talking about chickens and talking about chickens and talking about chickens. And finally, I looked at my husband and I said, all we're doing is talking and we ain't getting it done. And he said, well, let's go price everything that we're going to need. And I said, let's just get the chicks and then get the things that we need for the chicks. And we will uh, worry about the pen and the housing as uh, they go along because it'll be six to eight weeks before they can go outside anyway. So maybe a little sooner if, since we have them this time of the year and not in the winter, but Girl, I am a chicken mama. Boy, I am a chicken mama. Grammy Nene is a chicken mama. I have 12 little precious little babies. And I have a little video that I'm going to be sharing with you, a little clip. And then I wanted to show you how uh, I went out and did a little video and, and showing you that a lot of my stuff is breaking through now. And my beans are about that tall. I'm so excited about my beans. I'm so excited to be out in the yard. If you can tell, I got a little bit of a... A sunburn going on there's just nothing like being in the nature being out in the nature and the creation of God I'm just gonna tell you it's just wonderful we've sat out in chairs and we've enjoyed ourselves and now it's late at night on Sunday and I usually put you guys a video up and have it ready to go well I usually do it before I go to bed but here I am 30 minutes before bedtime just sitting and chatting with you guys and talking and just letting you know I'm a chicken mama so now we have really started to do the things that I wanted to do on this property. We're taking this little urban place and turn it into a little urban homestead. So now we have chickens for eggs and uh, we have raised gardens and um, we're just planning on adding more and more. We looked at some swimming pools today, little kitty pools, and we're thinking about trying to grow some corn and maybe have another one that we grow some watermelon in. We don't know. We're experimenting and we're having a good time. We uh, bought some uh, bushes and some trees from uh, the Arbor Foundation and they came in finally. And uh, they're about this big. I'm praying that my husband does not run them over with the lawnmower because my husband is like cowabunga dude when he's on that lawnmower. He's just going. He got a zero turn. It's his first brand new riding mower. And he works for... Uh, a place where he has all kind of equipment to play on and do things on and so he finally has something that he can get on and do tricks on at home and sometimes he gets carried away and he runs over stuff he ain't supposed to run over so <laughs> we'll just pray for those trees and those crepe myrtles that we got and just pray and pray and pray that they make it and uh, if you notice, I'm kind of getting shorter and shorter because I'm slot. I'm sitting on my bed and I'm kind of falling off my bed. So let's scoot you guys back a little bit like that. There we go. Anyway, I love you guys. I just wanted to have a little chat with you, share these little videos with you. And I hope that you'll stick around and watch these little chicks grow. Say a little prayer that each one of them will make it because my husband has raised chickens before. He's lived the farm life and me and Megan, we really haven't. I mean, we've grazed gardens and we've had dogs and we've had rabbits, but we really haven't had the chickens and, uh, you know, really try to turn it into something where we're not buying from the store. And that's what we're about. That's what I started this channel. I started this channel to leave some recipes for my kids. Uh, bring some encouragement, bring some happiness, some joy, meet some new people, have some adventures, do something every week that's new and exciting. And uh, I think chickens, baby chicks, and they're just precious. And we got uh, six different breeds and two of each one. And my husband keeps saying, 
don't be sad if they don't all make it, he said, because sometimes you lose some of them. And I understand that. But I've done grown to love each and every one of them. We had a little bit of problems with pasty butt from a couple of them. Just the stress of taking them from the store and bringing them home and getting them set up. So I had to take cotton balls and warm water and clean them all up tonight like they were my little chillings, which they are. <laughs> and get them all happy. And I had to buy some some stuff to put in their water and and you know some feed and i don't know they're just precious and i can't wait for them to get big and see what they look like and see their personalities and we were going to make sure that we got all pellets so that we didn't have any females but i will tell you at the last minute we we chose two of the fryer breeds that were not sexed so we might possibly have a rooster and i don't know how my neighbors are going to feel about that but hopefully he's a good rooster <laughs> he's not mean because some roosters can be really gentle and really nice and we're going to try to handle him a lot so that he's not he's kind of docile he's he don't get in a lot of trouble okay but so he, i thought that i would share a little story with you guys before we get off of here i have a big yellow bicycle and i call it the banana boat <laughs> and, and up until Probably fall of last year, I would ride my bicycle every evening, and it was one of the ways I could take my weight off. I would walk a mile in the morning before work, a mile at lunch, and then I would go for a couple mile bike ride at night. I had a little, uh, you know, what is it called? It's late at night. I've done lost my mind. I had me a little path laid out that I would go. I'm going to have to call it a bath because that's all I can remember. Do you hate when that happens, when your mind just goes blank and you don't know what you're talking about? But anyway, my bicycle got a flat, and it's been rough handled because it was stolen, and it went on an adventure for two days, and when it came back, uh, somebody had seen this fellow riding it uh, two cities over. So my bicycle went on a weekend adventure without me. When it come back, he had almost completely wore the handlebars off of it. The tires were in some need of some loving. The basket was gone and I had a cup holder on it. Didn't even know where the cup holder was, but I knew who the fellow was and I sent him a message on Facebook. And I said, sir, I know you had my big yellow bicycle. Uh, you stole it from the library and I don't want to, I forgive you and I don't want to put you in jail. Like they're going to put somebody in jail for stealing a bicycle. I said, but there will be no problems if my bicycle's back at the library on Monday. Now, the funniest thing is my husband said it's not going to come back. So he surprised me and bought me another bicycle. So here I am riding my bicycle and my coworker goes, are, are you, your bicycle's under the tree. You know that? How? And I ran over there and there was my old bicycle and I rode it home and my husband said, what are you doing home? I said, this is my bicycle. It's back. So we decided to take the other one back to Walmart because I had only rode it from the house to work. It was still perfectly clean and in mint condition. There was no sense in me having two of them. So we took it back and uh, I hardly ever take anything back, but there's just no sense in having two big yellow bicycles. And I really wanted my first one, even though it was missing things and because I, that had been the one I had lost most of my weight on and I just I don't know I just love it I had put a new seat on it it had some things that the new ones didn't have so anyway here's my funny story so my husband gets my tire fixed and he's so excited so he's like are you gonna ride your bike to work you gonna ride your bike to work you gonna ride your bike to work and I said yes honey I'm gonna ride my bike to work it was a beautiful day and I rode my bike to work on Friday I believe I rode my bike on Friday yeah, I did. I rode my bike on Friday. So anyway, make a long story short, I have not been on a bicycle in a while. And Corning has not a, got any hills. We're pretty known for being flat. We're the valley and the mountains are that way. Those are start probably about, the hills of them start probably about 30 or 40 minutes away from us. And But we have no, we have just a few hills that's it. But if you're riding a bicycle, you can find some hills. So here I am. I'm riding to work and I'm just talking to God, listening to birds. You know how I'm just into nature. So anyway, I start going and I hit a hill and I'm thinking, ugh, ugh. <laughs> and I'm just pedaling this bicycle. And I'm saying, oh Lord, and I'm standing up and I'm I'm pedaling this bicycle and I'm I said, Lord Jesus, help me get up this pie, up this hill. And then about that time, I just couldn't do it. 
So I get off the bicycle and I say, I'm sorry, Lord, I try to carry you up the hill, but we're going to have to walk. And then I got myself tickled. And I know some of the people that live around here think I am completely crazy because I'm talking to myself. I'm laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to be a happy person. And you just got to get some happiness out there and some joy. And if people think you're crazy, then so be it. But at least you're happy being crazy. I just had to share that with you. Woo wee I did not ride that bicycle home because what happened is my husband came by. He was off. He was on a six-day stretch. So anyway, he came by and I said, I couldn't hardly really ride that bicycle. It took everything I had to pedal it. And that was one of the things I love about my bicycle. It's a cruiser. It's like riding a Cadillac of bicycles. It's just, he went out there and looked at it. He said, well, honey, I got your front tire fixed, but your back tire was flat. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I couldn't pedal it because the back tire was, have you ever tried to pedal a bike that's got a low tire or a flat tire? It's like, it's like trying to ride it through the, through an ocean water or a river. The resistance is crazy. So, but anyway, I thought I'd share that with y'all. So I couldn't get Jesus up the hill. <laughs> Had to get him off. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have a blessed one. I'm praying for you guys. I'll be back on for a Wednesday encouragement. That will be my next video. I'm so glad I'm back. I'm so glad I'm able to use these hands and work in the garden. And I've got a couple more bags. I was going to add this. A couple more bags coming in from uh, Amazon. And these are potato bags. And you can lift up the side, see the potatoes. And I'm thinking about planting some onions and potatoes in there. I know some people already have their potatoes growing. I I'm experimenting, so uh, I want to see how these things do. I've got to get me something to grow some garlic in later on. And like I said, we want to do some watermelon and uh, some corn. Because, you yeah, know, you got to have corn and everything. Corn goes good in soup. Corn goes good with everything. Mm-hmm. Got to have some corn. And I would love to grow me a homemade watermelon. A homegrown, not a homemade, but homegrown watermelon. But anyway, you want guys have a wonderful blessed week. I'll see you on Wednesday Encouragement. Enjoy these little videos of these brand new little beings to our farm, our urban farm. I, I told my husband, I said, we are trick chicken farmers now. We have 12 chickens and we are chicken farmers. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just share this with you guys. Y'all have a wonderful blessed night, a wonderful blessed week, and I'll see y'all on Wednesday morning. God bless you. I'm very thankful.